Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If it is your very first time today on my channel, welcome, 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 and welcome. I'm Ati Sang and this is my channel, aka your new home. And to ensure you've got the keys, 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 keys to your new home, all you've got to do is smash that red subscribe button right here or here, <laughs> somewhere there. <laughs> But please do smash that subscribe button and give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoy it share it with your friends and family all your loved ones your acquaintances everybody okay and to those of you who are returning welcome back hey welcome back welcome back hey welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back guys thank you so much for always coming right back and we are finally here this is overdue okay and when i say overdue i am saying overdue with capital letters <laughs> because what a long wait what a long wait but you know what we are finally here and thank you so much for being patient patient with me thank you so so much um I've, i have one person on my who has been dming me on my instagram on some where are the book reviews girl what's happening what's happening you know and yeah i'd always tell that person that ish let's see if i'll be done in the next two weeks or so and then two weeks turns into three and then it turns into a month oh my word but anyway we are here we are here we are here so obviously as you may have already seen by today's title we are doing another book review i'm very excited i'm hoping to not make it too long and today we are reviewing <laughs> bamboozled by jesus by yvonne orji okay I think the title already sort of explains and tells you what we're going to be talking about or what um, this book talks about. Yvonne tells her stories, um, but they're very relatable and it's even though um, they may not be exactly how my life is or how your life is, but you can sort of you know replace her story or replace her in a in a particular story and put yourself in that story and you, it makes sense you know i hope i hope you i hope you're still with me okay so i have a few pointers just so that i don't that i'm not all over the place i have a few notes that i made on my phone so i'll be looking at my phone while also trying to <laughs> okay so um this book is i mean bamboozled by jesus means exactly that she so a little backstory yvonne she's a nigerian american woman and her i mean it yeah if you come from most black families especially um people who are who might be like approaching their 40s which she is that time like parents then did not I, I think there's still some parents who are like that now um who don't understand or who are very strict on like the what's this the conventional um occupations or conventional careers um for like a a better phrase so your doctors engineers um what teachers maybe i don't know but you get what I, you get where i'm going with this so her parents wanted her to be a doctor okay she went they wanted her to be a doctor <laughs> if like at the very least <laughs> she must then marry one <laughs> I only discovered I think yeah she must then marry one okay cool so she is in the US and she's into comedy which is very very like the total opposite of what her parents expected her to be doing and yeah obviously her parents did not understand and 
did not understand what she was doing and why she would choose that path and what future lies ahead of her with that kind of a career you know anyway so the few things that i wrote that caught my um attention and that i want to just highlight to you about the book um is that firstly because i just spoke of this particular thing is that no not everyone around you will understand especially if it's something that um you feel and you are um you can feel that god is saying to you go this route i have your back she didn't have any she didn't have any resources in terms of um financial resources um she didn't have financial resources to fund this type of career that she was embarking on and yeah she just didn't have anything but what remained was the fact that god was saying go this route i have your back she didn't know what she was doing she, all she knew was that she was being obedient and her obedience um of course her obedience um you know led to her being bamboozled by jesus long and short um so yeah not everyone will understand sometimes you really just need to focus and um quiet down the noises that are going on around you and with all the grace try and make the people who you care about people you who care about you as well people around you try and make them understand but it's not they're not always going to understand i promise you they won't always understand and yeah um run your race run your race it's not meant to be the same as your uncle's race or your aunt's race it's not meant to be the same as your parents race just stick in your lane and just be obedient to what god is telling you and where god is leading you to and then also um she talks about um i think it's yeah she talks about faith that till you make it we always hear of the phrase fake it till you make it and she says faith it till you make it because honestly if you're doing things in faith with faith then yeah just in your confusion and not being guaranteed that this is the right path for you or this is the right thing for you to be doing as long as you know that it comes from God just faith it until you make it because he, he he won't you won't leave you hanging he really won't and yeah she also just highlights the fact that you know it's very scary um it's not that our families don't um understand or they don't i mean don't want us to do anything but what they want but it's also just scary for them to um to see you taking a route that has that basically doesn't have any um blueprints like i said earlier if your uncle or no one in your family has ever um taken this route and you're just coming up here and being like mom dad i'm going i'm going to be a comedian haha <laughs> that that's not an easy conversation to have with any um parent especially <laughs> anyway um and then there's also um a phrase that says talent is what gets you in the court but character keeps you in the game so in everything that you do your character has to be pure your character has to be you have to have a good character to endure and to persevere in whatever it is that you're doing because it's just like getting any job at any office if you get a job um maybe your talent or your qualifications will get you that job but for you to actually um do well in that job and to remain and to um grow in that job your character sort of has to be intact it has to be 
good <laughs> it has to be good um and then oh my word this one this i feel like i feel compelled to just talk about it because i feel like the last maybe the last three three four books that i read have something about this like something along the lines of this but the message is the same that they know your value but they're just hoping that you don't people will always always and that's why it's important for us to believe and to know who we are and to believe in it regardless of what anyone around around us says because you know people are just lazy and people are always wanting to give you the bare minimum so if you accept the bare minimum you are in a sense um what degrading yourself um you are allowing people to v value you below what your actual value is so yeah they know they know for sure your value but they are just hoping that you don't so people will always just try and test the borders if if you allow them then ah that's it once they cross that border then that's it because they've they've seen that you know this person is not even aware that they're capable of doing a b and c because we just give them an f and she's okay with it you know yeah anyway um next 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 i'm trying to be very quick with this <laughs> while also making sense um so the other thing that she talks about is limiting god don't do that we need to stop doing that it's he's god he's able to do exceedingly be abundantly beyond anything we could ever even we could ever think of or even ask for so don't limit him allow give him enough room to bamboozle you you know so um i think it's a it's a challenge um that in whatever it is that we do let's allow god to bamboozle us let's allow god hey you may see that i'm not sure where this is going i don't know how i'm going to get through to the end but i am going to get to the end and just allow god to be god in that situation stop playing god in any situation allow him to be himself and the last chapter i think this was done intentionally i'm sure it was done intentionally i would like to believe it was done intentionally but it was so beautifully worded <laughs> the last chapter is titled don't put a period where god put a comma i'm gonna say that again don't put a period aka full stop where god has put a comma and in normal speech or as when we're reading where there's a full stop we stop it's like oh we're done right but where there's a comma it's like a you rest for a bit and you continue and not for long it's just you know yeah you get what i'm saying so we need to stop putting full stops or periods where god has put a comma because until he says it is done it is not done your friend might say it is done your brother might say it's done your sister might say it's done your parents might say it's done your neighbor might say it's done but until god says so it's not done so persevere push on push on kubeka tselapili khan an you know we, this is another challenge i think this book just challenges us to do so many things that are beyond most people's comfort zones me included um, there's also what i would link to the power of words 
which is what she talks about not being negative not using negative words and um for example um talking to somebody or approaching trying to get uh an opportunity but when you introduce or when you start talking about um about it this is how you start i know i may not be very good at this but if you could just like you have already cancelled yourself you have already you have not given that person who's listening to you the opportunity to even think that you might a slight just might be great because you have already told them uh -uh, i'm not good i'm I, I actually i'm not sure what i'm doing so because you've given them that's the first thing that you're planting in their heads you're not giving them an opportunity to even think any good thing about you. So you're already cancelling yourself by saying those negative words. So um, we need to just practice, practice. And you, sometimes you know deep down that <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give it a shot, right? But you're not going to say, hey, um, you speak into whatever manager and be like, um hello ma'am or sir i i'm really not good at this but i think if you um you if you give me an opportunity i will try and do my best you, you don't say that so she talks about that and i thought that was very important because um yeah we the words we use are also very um powerful and to always believe that our supply is needed somewhere in the world somewhere in the market your supply is needed you know like you can't have just those um football stars or basketball players whatever the case might be it can't just be those and then you disqualify yourself because someone else is greater than you your supply is also needed Somewhere in the market, there are people that are waiting for you. There are people that are waiting for your product. There are people that are waiting for your service. There are people that are waiting for um, whatever it is that your your invention, you know. So just always believe that and whatever it is that you do, do it believing that my supply is needed. So I will do it. And then... Um, also generally what the book starts off talking about is to just be kind be kind to people be kind everywhere you go because you don't know you might be holding back um you might be holding someone else's blessing you might you might be the only there's actually a, a, a um i don't know who this quote is by um so yeah but I think I know of a of a phrase that goes, you might be, I don't even know, who, yeah, I really don't know who said this. <laughs> but you might be the only Bible that someone comes across. You might be the only, um, you might be what the next person needs to experience God. You know, just in your kindness, in the way you love people around you and the way you serve people around you just spread love guys spread love be kind try and be very intentional about it and then um also i'm going to end off with this because i think <laughs> it needs to be highlighted bolded in italics in red exclamation marks that celebrating others or complimenting others will really not diminish your light it will not dim your light and yeah it also just sort of ties to what i just said about um you being kind uh, because you might just be that you might just be that person that saves somebody that is about to commit suicide that um somebody that you know just makes somebody realize that Ish, you know what life is not life is bad ne? it's tough but it's not bad 
life is tough but you know there's also the other side of things that I haven't been um, looking at so really just spread love and also compliment and she actually challenges in the book that this entire month um, for a full month just every day try and compliment someone try and find something positive that you like about somebody and compliment them and I think it's a very good habit it's just like the habit of um, gratitude making sure that every day you have something you're grateful for it just it totally changed um, it changes things I know it has definitely changed things for me in my life where I it comes effortlessly and even on bad days or days that I deem to be uh, you know what I find myself saying it's tough it's rough I don't want any I just want this day to end but somewhere something will just be like yo but God I'm so grateful I'm so grateful for A, B, and C. I'm so grateful for life. I'm so grateful for family. I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for... I'm, uh, there's so much to... I'm grateful for your protection, your love, your, 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 your guidance, your... I'm just grateful, you know? So, yeah. And then, as I end off, there, she has these mantras, a.k.a. I'd also call them... Um, what's this? I'd also call them affirmations. At the end of her book, she's got like, how many of them? And I think they're really, 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 really cool. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read all 31 of them, but they're really, really cool. And I think it's a good, it's, it's a good way to start practicing um, affirmations, to start practicing, you know, gratitude to start practicing like i'm saying complimenting people and just see how you know someone might be having the worst day and maybe your compliment is that one thing that they're just gonna that's just gonna put a smile on their face she actually talks about um how she complimented one lady i think they were at the airport and this lady had a bob and she was just like, your hair looks so good. Little did she know that this person had just been diagnosed with cancer. And um, that she was just getting, um, you know, yeah, like sort of just like loving her hair the last time before it starts falling off. Um, so that just obviously changed um, this woman's, because she couldn't believe it. She was like, really? It does look good on me you know and I think it's very important and it, it's it also it really sparked something in me honestly and yeah let's just strive to be better people guys try try strive to be better people every single day and see how many people's lives we can impact just by our kindness you don't even have to go um, do extra extra things but just being kind and serving where you where you can, and um, of course she did pray with that lady and yeah. Anyway, I think I have spoken for way too long. That is the end of this book review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not yet subscribed at this point, please do smash that red subscribe button below and give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed. Share it with your loved ones and. Yeah, we've come to the end. <laughs> I've spoken for so long. It feels good. And I, yeah, I, I really recommend you guys get this book. Um, and out of five, I'll definitely give it a five. Like, also, no, no, no. I don't know how I didn't mention this at the beginning. This book was written in slang. Like, I can, I literally laugh every time I'm reading it because I can sort of read it in Firstly, she um, writes Nigerian um, slang, but also she like normal slang, and so it's not written in a formal way. No, it's it's very chilled, very relaxed. Like you can just be on some, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's 
it's a nice book it's relaxed it's not it's not a serious I mean it's serious because it talks about <laughs> serious things but as I said they're very relatable and it's also written in a very relaxed um, way it seems I don't want to leave you guys, but I have to leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and God bless you all.